Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick, and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the Equation Solver app to easily solve complex equations, as well as how we can store and recall equations on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this, we'll use the menu key that looks like this, located here, the shift key that looks like this, located here, the alpha key that looks like this, located here, and the F1 through F6 or function keys that look like this, located across the top here. To use the Equation Solver app, first we need to navigate to it in our calculator. To do that, we go to the main menu and then scroll down and over until we see EQUA here, and then we select it with the EXE key. And that brings us to this menu here. We want the solver, so we'll choose F3. When we've done that, that brings us to this screen here, and we see EQ for equation, and this is where we can go ahead and enter our equation. We'll start with something simple. Let's say we wanted to solve for the area of a rectangle with a width of 5 and a length of 10. This is our equation here. A for area equals W times L, or width times length. All we have to do is enter it here on the top of our screen. So we'll go alpha to start our alpha function. A, there we go, equals, to get equals, you do shift and then the decimal. There we go. A equals alpha again, W times alpha L. There we go, there's our equation. Once we're done, we hit the EXE key again, and that populates our variables here. We see A, W, and L. We can now go ahead and enter in our known variables. We don't know A, that's what we're trying to solve. So we scroll down to W, which we know width of five. We can hit that and hit EXE to select it, and then length of 10. Again, we enter the 10 and hit EXE. Don't worry about these lower and upper options here. Scroll back up to A, and since this is what we wanna solve, we highlight it, and then we see here F6 is solve, so we hit that, and there we go. A equals 50 which makes sense because we know five times 10 equals 50, and that's our area. To go back, we hit F1. Now it brings us back to our formula or our equation here. What if we needed to get an area of 60 on our rectangle? Well, we need to then change our area to 60. And then we need to either solve for the width or the length to change that to get 60. Let's say we want to keep our length at 10, so we'll scroll to our W width and hit solve. We now see our width has been solved for 6, which makes sense because if we want an area of 60, we need 6 times 10. Again, we can go back with the F1. Let's try a different equation, something a little more complicated. If we want to enter a new equation, all we have to do is scroll up to the EQ. We can hit delete to delete that. It'll ask to confirm. So we'll hit F1. And we're back here where we can enter our new formula or equation. Well, for this example, we have an object thrown at initial velocity v takes time t to reach height h. If h is equal to 14 meters, t is equal to 2 seconds, and g is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, find the initial velocity v. Here's our formula. h equals v times t minus 
1 over 2 gt squared. Again, all we have to do is enter that here at eq. So we can start with the alpha h and then equals. So remember that's shift decimal for our equal sign. And then v t. We don't need to put the multiplication sign in there because our calculator knows that these two will be multiplied together. And then minus. And then we'll use brackets for the 1 over 2 or half. So we'll go bracket 1 divided by 2. Close our bracket. Alpha G. Alpha. T squared. There we go. H equals V times T minus 1 half or 1 divided by 2 G T squared. We've got our formula entered and we can hit EXE. And there we go. There's our formula. And here's all our variables. And we can go ahead and enter those now. So we know h is equal to 14 exe. Our v is our unknown. That's what we're trying to solve. So we can leave that. Our t is 2 seconds. So we can hit 2 exe. And then our g was 9.8 exe. And then all we have to do is scroll up to our V and hit solve, F6. And there we go. Our initial velocity is 16.8. Again, we can go back with the F1 key to our screen here. But what if we wanted to enter a number of formulas for later use? Well, we see here at this screen, we see F1, RCL, or recall. If we press that, that takes us to our graphing function menu here, where we can choose equations that we have saved. Right now, there's nothing saved here. But if we go to Menu, scroll over to Graph, and select it, we can enter our new formulas or equations here. Let's enter something simple. Let's say alpha x is equal to alpha a plus alpha b. There we go. x equals a plus b. Now, if we exit out of here, back to the menu, we can go back to the equation app and back into our solver. And here we see we still got our old equation. We can delete that with F2. Delete the formula, F1, yes. And here we can recall that formula that we've saved in our graphing menu. To do that, we hit the F1. And there's our formula. So we just select it. It brings it into our equation, and we hit exe again. There we go. x equals a plus b. And we can just solve for that. Let's say our a is equal to 1, and our b is equal to 2. If we solve for x, we see x equals 3, which is correct. And then when we're done with this app, we can just hit the F1 or exit to go back and hit menu to go back to our main menu. There we go. That's just a couple of ways the equation solver can be extremely useful. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button 
and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.